welcome back to another video. My name is Thomas Gelder. So in today's video, we're gonna learn how to do that effect. Now this effect is inspired by Stranger Things and obviously the main character, Eleven. I wanted to challenge myself and kind of make an adaption of the effect in a cheap possible way and all I needed was an object which was round or something that I could tie a rope to and then I just had a string. Now this string can be anything, it can be green which is obviously easier to key out and green screen. I've used white and all I have to do then is just key it out and then track each motion that's happening which is going to be very time consuming. Once the effect is done it's well worth it. So first of all what I did was got a shot of my subject and then I got a shot of me. So that kind of breaks the scene and I kind of figure out what, what I'm trying to do. And then the second scene is a wide shot of the apple moving towards me. Now this shot is really going to sell the effect. I had a shot of me on the bed pretending that the apple's coming towards me. And then I had another shot of just the background, nothing else. This is because I can merge all three clips together if needed. It's always better to shoot more than have less. Then once you've got those shots in hand, you want to finish it off with the apple landing in your hand. So what I simply did here is just chuck the apple up and caught it so it looks like it's fell into my hands. So that's pretty much it, that's the shots that you need, you need to figure it out and how to shoot it. Always make sure that you're away from the subject, so when I'm doing the string, as you can see I'm far away from the actual apple. Just so I can key everything out and nothing's going to get in the way of it. So once you get into the editing suite, we're going to edit the wide shot first, just because this takes the longest. So get the shot of you on the bed and then drag the apple shot on top of that clip. And here, you're simply just gonna time the parts that you need. So it can be three seconds, five seconds, 10 seconds, depends how long. Longer it is, more time consuming in terms of keying. And from here, you wanna go onto the opacity keying tool. And then you wanna mask around the apple or ball or subject that you have. Once that's done, what you're going to do is you're going to click on the key on the mask path and then move a frame forward and adjust the key positioning. You're going to continue doing this until you are satisfied on where your clip wants to stop and then you can change shot. And that's pretty much it. That's the effect done. I'm using it with small subjects. With bigger subjects, I can do another video on if you're interested in. But this is just small subjects that you could tie a string to or make another alternative that works for you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.